Hey friends of the internet, I just want to thank you for helping me reach 300 subscribers. Actually, wait a minute. 305 subscribers at the time of I'm recording this video. Now, ever since I started this YouTube channel back in October of 2020, my goal has been to create a way for those who keep up with the website, you know, the Austin B Media website, the articles, and the other fun stuff, to connect deeper with the films I review, with, with interviews from filmmakers, whether that be a director, a producer, a composer, an editor, sound designer, a key member of the cast, really anyone involved in the making of the film. Now, none of that would primarily be possible without the filmmakers agreeing to it and their publicists. Um, their work is quite often only recognized in flashy award ceremonies, but I want to take the time to thank all of those people who have interviewed and to the publicists who coordinate the whole process. Special thanks has to go out to the teams at AFI, uh, the Academy Awards, uh, Tribeca Festival, Austin Film Festival, South by Southwest, Slam Dance 2023. Uh, all of you were delightful to work with, and I can't say bad, any bad things about any one of you. I also want to thank the interviewees. Uh, my favorite interviews, uh, first of all, uh, Sean Glass, uh, the director and, I believe, producer of a 1984 period piece in Modern Day, which was my first ever interview. Um, Michael E.G. Nielsen, who I interviewed at the Oscars, uh, 93rd Oscars, I believe. Uh, Mark Evans, who directed Clay Dream, which you all should check out. Uh, Natasha McElhoun and Yaron Ha from Halo the Series. Uh, Michelle Lee from Clever Carbon, who appeared at South by Southwest last year uh, to talk about carbon emissions. Delaney Buffett from the uh, short film Mooptopia, which uh, followed the TikTok creator Mooptopia. Uh, Chop and Steel from the documentary of the same name. Uh, Yvette M. Mirian uh, from The Integrity of Joseph Chambers, which I'll be reviewing soon. I didn't get to review it during Tribeca. I just ran out of time. Uh, Matt Hammett from Bowen's Heart, uh, formerly of Saints Real. He's got his own record company. Check his music out. Check Bowen's Heart out. Um, I'll have links to all this in the top right or somewhere. Um, and, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher this name. Gwitsowski, uh Law Chen, and John Shu, uh, and a whole bunch of others I'm probably forgetting to mention uh, that had really great interviews. I'll make sure to link all of them down below. Um, they're all really great, and I can't thank all of you enough. Someone else I can't thank all enough is the 305 of you who somehow found my interview so intriguing or otherwise in engaging to hit the subscribe button or whatever other reason you hit the subscribe button. Maybe you're a friend of mine. If so, thanks. Um, but as much as I love talking to filmmakers... Um, all 305 of you helped to grow this YouTube channel into something I didn't expect as corny as that sounds. Um, especially considering when I was planning Austin B Media, first as a movie podcast and then as a actual website full of entertainment, it, video was never part of the whole deal. Um, I have a very big aversion to showing my face on camera given some things that have happened on YouTube, on Patreon, uh, with some other creators, uh, and I just didn't want to do it. I was uncomfortable. So thank you for um, encouraging me to make videos talking to an cam invisible audience. So thank you, all 305 of you. Um, and I hope, uh, as corny as this sounds, all 305 of you will come with me as I further go down the filmmaker interview path i kind of want to make something like what sam jones does with off camera with sam jones is a great interview show um also thr has some great interviews i'll link the off camera uh show in the uh, in one of the youtube card things uh i'm still relatively new at how to link things in youtube so apologies uh i'll i'll also link it in the description in case i forget um but before that, and before I leave to write my review of All Quiet on the Western Front, which you would know if you subscribe to my Patreon, which not so subtly leads me into my plug. 
I know, I hate them too. I skip forward over the YouTube videos, and you feel free to skip forward. But um, I should probably mention that I have a Patreon. Uh, $1 a month gets you a shout-out on everything I publish, including credits in these videos, if you so choose. 24-hour uh, early access to pr practically everything I post. There are some exceptions. Uh, Behind-the-scenes content, like my weekly schedule, uh, and probably more. I'm probably undervaluing that whole thing. Um, so if that's interest to you, go to join.austinb.media or patreon.com slash austinbmedia. I also have other ways to support me if you don't like Patreon. Uh, I have buy me a coffee. Uh, I have donation links. Uh, just about everything in between. Uh, I'll link that in the description because I don't think I can include that in a YouTube card. But um, if you have anything I, I should be doing in addition to the filmmaker interviews, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to read them. Um, I know I did reactions before. I uh, had to stop doing that because of trademark law. Uh, got into some hot water. Copyright removals and all that fancy YouTube drama. But I hope to talk again when we hit uh, 500 subscribers here. Uh, but until next time.